controversy and disappointment have dominated the headlines from the Winter Olympics in Sochi on Saturday. The Russian men's hockey team, whose success or failure will dictate how many Russians rate the Sochi Games, failed in dramatic fashion against a hard-charging American team that won 3-2 in a dramatic shootout. The Russians had appeared to take a 3-2 lead late in the third period, but U.S. goaltender Jonathan Quick had knocked the net off by no more than a centimeter seconds before Ru Russia's Fedor Tutin fired a shot into the top corner. And incredibly, the would-be decisive goal was disallowed upon review. That set the stage for an unforgettable eight-round shootout during which U.S. forward T.J. Oshie took six shots and beat Sergei Bobrovsky four times, including the winning goal of the 3-2 thriller. The Nets' positioning really played no role in the disallowed Tutin goal, but it clearly altered the course of the Russia-U.S. game and possibly the entire Sochi hockey tournament. In speed skating, this time Denny Morrison was able to do it all by himself. Hours after Canadian star Charles Hamlin crashed in the 1,000 meter event and teammate Olivier Jean also failed to qualify for the final, Morrison earned the Canadian speed skating squad a measure of redemption with bronze in the 1,500 meters. Morrison won the 1,000 meter silver earlier in the games after teammate Gilmore Junio backed out to give Morrison a shot at the medal. Marianne saint gelais Charles Hamlin's girlfriend, also failed to qualify for the final of her speed skating event Saturday. American officials have suggested their racer's suits were responsible for a poor showing so far in Sochi. They changed the race wear for Saturday, but U.S. star Shani Davis disappointed once again in the 1500, finishing 11th. Thanks for joining us, and check back with me, Pat Maloney, again tomorrow for a look at what's happened and what's ahead at the Sochi Games.